Okay, this is my second time trying to do this video. So I'm going to kind of rush through it and um, just get with it. So I am trying to decide what marker. Well, I don't have to decide. I can use different ones. But I wanted but to do a comparison of the different markers on these dots here. They are the sticky, sticky dots from Target's Dollar Bin. I think maybe Avery makes some too. But these were actually um, from the dollar bin at Target. And they, there's people talking about them in the planner groups, especially Erin Aaron Condren planner groups, because Jennifer McGuire did a video quite a while ago of how she sets up her planner, and she used some that she colored with her Copics. Well, Co Copics are kind of an expensive marker to get just to color in stuff for your planner. So I thought I would try, because um, Copics are an art, they're like an art marker. So instead of paying, I think, what, eight, nine dollars a marker, they might be cheaper than that. I'm not sure because I haven't bought one in a long time. And I really don't want to use my good markers on something like this. I don't want to, you know, drag them all out. I mean, if you want to, by all means, but I'm just trying to show an alternative here. So I did some of the more cheap, cheaper <laughs> markers. And um, anyway, let me just get started. The first four are Wink of Stella, because I colored them in before I decided to do this comparison. Now, Wink of Stella is a Zig marker, Zig memory system, and they have this very fine tip. And they are considered a marker, but um, I've used these on my Filofax paper, the thin Filofax paper, and they don't bleed through. So I would use this more like a pen. See how it's scratchy? It's very glittery. I don't know if you can catch, you can see the glitter. I like the, yeah, you can see a little bit of it. I like the glitter. I like the idea of that, but it's very scratchy. So I probably won't use these too much because that took a long time to color in just those. So that was a Wink of Stella. And I bought a set of these, which I think were 12 markers for like $12 on Amazon. No, I'm sorry. They're probably a little more, maybe $17. I don't remember. Anyway, they weren't very expensive for a set. And let's see, moving right along, this one right here, it looks kind of fluffy. See how that, it looks kind of fluffy to me. But I use the Stampin' Up! Stamp Right. And I don't know how much these are because I've had these forever, but they're less expensive than Copics. Now, I didn't do a sample of Copic or Spectrum Noir because I didn't um, want to drag those out. I have them stored in a different spot because I'm not using them right now. So anyway, these come in the fine tip with a fine tip and a brush tip. The brush tip makes it easier and faster. Okay, moving along. Let's see. I think my favorite one was the Sharpie right here. See, that just really worked out well. It's a nice coverage. Nice fine coverage. And they're very inexpensive. I got this. Um, you can get a set, of course, of Sharpies, but I got this at Walgreens during a back to school sale and I think I paid maybe 33 cents a piece for them. So I got quite a few colors. Okay, but you don't want to use this on your planner paper itself because it will bleed through. Okay, moving along. I have a cheat sheet here. <laughs> this is another another pretty one. The market. The only thing is these are they are um a permanent mark they're a permanent marker ultra fine point. That's the only problem, so it still looks a little bit scratchy. I like that color. This is a fine, see that fine, fine tip. Okay, and a mark, mark as you get in, um, <clears throat> excuse me, a set as well. Let's see, the next one, market was Studio G. Now this is the, probably the cheapest one yet, <laughs> and it was, it's the ones you can get for a dollar at Walmart, and I think they're a dollar fifty at Michael's. But it has a brush tip. Oh, it comes in brush tip or bullet, or bullet point or I don't know what the other tip is called. But anyway, this one's a brush. Now it didn't turn out good at all. It's this one right. Where's this one right here? Did not turn out good at all. So I won't be using that one. The next one is this one right here, and it didn't turn out very well either. It's really chalky. It's a galaxy marker. And it's paint like ink, opaque. Now, the you know, in all fairness, this is an old marker, so that might be why it turned out that way. See, by American Craft, see it's the paint. I mean, the label smells. It's so old. 
I've been scrapbooking for a long, long time, so. <laughs> okay, and this next one, let's see. Is this the, right here, this one right here is a Distress marker by Tim Holtz. These come in such pretty colors I wanted to try. And it's a watercolor marker, so it's kind of, you know, it's kind of got a more of a watercolor look to it. But it has a brush tip and a fine tip as well. And it's called Worn Lipstick. It, they come in, the names of them are just clever. And they come in all different colors. And they come in sets, or you can buy them. At Michael's and Joanne and Hobby Lobby, you have to buy the sets, I think. But if, if you go to like a scrapbook store or an art store, you might could get them. You know, just one. One or two. Okay, moving along. This one is really pretty, but it's messy looking. And it's another glitter. It's Martha Stewart. Glitter markers. These come in sets as well. It's a pigment ink, but it's very glittery. The glitter ones just aren't working out too well. Okay, and then moving along. This one works. Oh, this one's beautiful. This is from a Prismacolor. Prismacolor marker, and it has the fine and the broad tip. And it is just, it's just really pretty. I don't remember how much these are. I think I paid, well, I got it on clearance, it looks like. three ninety nine. But um, I don't remember how much these are either because I've had them. I have quite a few of these as well I've had for a while. I used to design costumes for um, the stage, so some of this stuff is very old from back then. Some of my art stuff, but you know it still works because I take care of them. And this is just a very cheap, um, like a cheaper alternative to Sharpie even. And it's a metallic color sharp. And it was this one right here. So you can't even, because it's permanent, you can't get a, the mess around so it doesn't make a complete circle. Okay, and then this next one was a very cheap. I think I got them at the dollar store. And it didn't work out for me. <laughs> it just started falling apart. The tip started just falling apart. So we will not use those. Anyway, I just wanted to do a comparison, and like I said, I think my favorite is the Sharpie and the Prismacolor. I think those worked out well, and I'm sure the um, Copics would look even better than all of these, but you know, come on, you're going to be using, if you use these a lot, you know, it, how, to me, I don't look back at my week, so I don't need to make them perfect, so, and I'm, you know, I'd go with Prismacolor or Sharpie, I'd go with Sharpie because that's the cheapest. Okay, hope this helps.